Bomb Factory Studio. Hello guys, I know you've missed me, I've missed me too. Oh guys, it's been such a long time, right? Okay, it's been just a month, I know. Is it even a month? Okay, we are almost, we are under 20, I don't remember, but I know it's been a while and I've missed you guys and i've missed me being here talking to you yes that's just it so welcome to my channel welcome to spending time avec severina bienvenue sur ma chaîne bienvenue pour passer le temps avec severina severina c'est moi si c'est ta première fois bienvenue sur ma chaîne if it's your first time coming welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe and stay in the family with this family is just love 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 yes so guys it's been a while and school happened yeah school happened ah uh, i wrote a uh, semester exam this january so i just like needed to focus on that because you know working and schooling is not a joke and i needed to you know focus on that exam and yeah that's just been it and i, I just took some time for myself you know that's just been it but like i told you guys school and work updates like managing school and work and my first semester ever at the university all those updates will come later but today today okay yes you guys you can see i'm rocking this basic hairstyle this one is done by my mom and the end is by moi so yeah i used to rock this like when i was little like almost every two weeks like yeah so um I, i'm just loving it i just wanted something simple and basic and i got this and i'm feeling myself yes i'm feeling myself but yeah so guys let's get back to the mat matter at hand so today's video is gonna focus on some spicy topics some taboo topic and also some you know don't want to talk about it issue so today i'm gonna to be talking about the uh top two issues that couples top two issues that uh what am i saying issues top two topics that couples don't talk about before you know taking the next step which is marriage uh over here in africa especially in west africa because i live in west africa and that's what i know about. i can't talk about uh, other places but this is where i live and even though i've not been married and i've never been married i've been in relationships and i live in a society so i see things that's why i'm here today to talk about those important topics and with the way that like the rate of divorce is going nowadays even in africa people are really getting divorced and that scares me like divorce scares me the most i think like i don't know what else scares me that doesn't really scare me because i know god got me and like it's his decision but like divorce man you know like being in relationships and living relationships like no you know how hard it is like you spend like maybe two years three years with this person you get used to the person you feel like you know you know this and one day you just have to go your separate ways and marriage is not just the two of you families are involved things are involved and now you have to separate maybe you are married for a long time you know five years ten years it's gonna be i don't know like that would be hard you know and that scares me a lot and you know coming from us a home where my parents were separated you know it was not it was hard for me as a child so you can imagine how hard it was for them being in that relationship so guys today's topic is gonna be sex and money 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 so let's tackle money first i feel like here in africa people just don't like uh is it i don't know about everywhere other places but couples just don't like talking really like seriously about money like oh like knowing how much um each partner earns so that you can de uh, decide on how much we spend on food how much we spend on bills how much we spend on grocery how much we spend on 
you know rent how much we spend on this that this travel and things okay pleasure and you know you can't just live your life without pleasure so how much you spend on everything like budgeting planning okay but here the man would prefer to just give you what he wants to give you uh maybe every week or at the end of the month for you you know the house and things like that that's the way it goes but then again uh nowadays that every woman is fighting for the empowerment of women equal gender equality all those things the guys or the men feel like okay if you think uh, you are equally like you are uh, you and i are, are equal then we should share everything you pay this i pay that you pay this i pay that but i i'm not like i don't have issues with that but the thing is if we are sharing everything we should share everything like you know when i'm cooking you wash the plate when you're cooking i wash the plate those kind of thing but here in africa is like kitchen is for the women i'm the man i'm not going to the kitchen i'm the man i'm not washing the plates i'm the man i'm not doing this but you want us to share the bills you get me what i'm just trying to say is that declaring money to your partner is really hard for our people and people like get married with expectation like okay my husband is gonna take care of me or my husband is gonna you know buy this or pay this or pay that you get into the marriage and then he's not able to do that sometimes you find out that like you you thought he earned more than what he actually earned so you see like you can't you can't even be mad because the person doesn't have the money like like let's just be straightforward from the beginning you know we know money is bro you you can't survive without money you know we 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 spend money we are human beings we need money so you know and let's just stop that uh hypocrisy of uh oh you're 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 focused on money you're a gold digger you're thinking that you're um it's not even a gold digger you're a materialist blah 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 blah. listen if like i am single right now and i have a lifestyle that i am living right now i'm able to afford some kind of stuff like that's how i live that's my lifestyle i don't i wouldn't want to change or reduce my way of living just because i got married i think that if i get married i will want my lifestyle to go up not to go down you know like to get more better not to like so when like someone approaches you and you look at maybe their lifestyle or their way of living you know that okay this person cannot afford the kind of lifestyle i live together because yeah, you'll be like those things are too expensive or blah 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 or maybe you because you earn less than i do so all these things need to be talked about that's why you need to talk about the money aspect it shouldn't just be favorite color favorite food uh flavor things you like things you don't like blah 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 let's let's just talk about everything you know let's be open in talking um in dating when you know you want to marry someone or you know it's a serious thing let's just talk about everything okay everything money is money you get married you're gonna spend money you're gonna need to eat and also what's for me like personally i also look at the future and if we get married even if we don't have children today we are gonna have children tomorrow and i want my children to have a certain kind of life like certain kind of lifestyle i want my children to have the best i want my children to have this that's why i'm working hard right now I'm not gonna dump all of it on you, but like, I want you to to provide. Like, I want someone who also have the same kind of mindset that okay, I want the best for my children, so I'm gonna keep working hard. I'm gonna, you know, like. So, uh, me worrying about money is not just for me. How about my children? Them having the best kind of life. Them going to their best schools. Cause I'm someone who loves schools, and I didn't get a chance to go to like the kind of school i wanted to go after uh senior uh after high school like i didn't get a chance to do those things and i want my kids to have these choices like i want him to have the right to say okay i could go here i could go here i could go here and i choose here 
if my child want to do medicine i want him to be able to if my child want to do fashion i want him to be able to all that is money so yes guys ladies don't shy away from money talking about money when you're dating you know like let's 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 plan let's budget let's do this it's your future i just i just think it's important and i'm talking about it today yeah next topic so guys this one is a very spicy one and it's a taboo topic here in africa you know any sex growing up no one around me no parent no auntie no cousin no nobody has ever talked about sex like nothing mm -mm. you won't even hear it the only time you see it or hear it will be on tv and everybody acts like you know something is wrong somewhere you kind of you, you're like as the kid you're like now i'm curious why are these people you know suddenly acting like this in this scene a particular scene on the tv like what's going on here you know like in africa like parents usually shy away from the sex topic and you know the you know the intimacy in all but hey who are we lying to you know like i personally feel like sex is is an important topic to talk about when you're getting into marriage especially in this 24 uh 20 god i almost say 24th century <laughs> especially in this 21st century whereby everything is allowed and people um you know people are really open-minded and they are really ready to try anything and you don't know like we have gay we have bisexual we have transgenders we have you know so you, i feel like it's a topic you need to talk about with your partner let's not pretend here let's not act like oh i'm a virgin you know if you're a virgin kudos to you like i'm so proud of you keep going like like stand by yourself do like do you but then if you are not a virgin and you get into relationships it's better you talk about sex because you need to know what you like what he likes uh you know vice versa what you are you want to do what you don't want to do you know talk about it like any other topic that you talk about when you're dating like favorite color favorite food favorite this you can just throw it in there so what's your favorite sex position or what is your you know preference sex preferences like what do you like you know because you don't want to get into that marriage and find out he likes i know hmm. sister i don't know how you're gonna survive that or i don't want you to get into marriage to find out my husband is bisexual or he's gay or he's this or he's that or uh, he likes it this way i don't like it that way you know people really think that these things are minor but they really affect marriages they do they affect marriages because you know sex is a great part of marriage and if you're not happy in the bedroom then i think i don't think you'll be happy in your marriage and that's very very important so i feel like sisters or brothers let's stop shying away from the topic before we actually take the next step everyone is different everyone likes what they like everyone is unique you might like this i might not like that so let's be open let's talk about it and when you see okay he likes this i don't and i don't think that he's ready to give it up you just leave the relationship because you know he's not yours you find your man or you find your woman so let's just be honest and african guys have this thing that let girls kind of pretend i don't pretend i'm me you like me you like me you don't like me you don't like me so you know african guys have that thing of oh this is my main chick this is my you know my baby my, my my wife and then they have another girlfriend that they call the side chick or this or that 
but like i've had few guys that i've actually talked to personally why do you have this girl and why do you have that girl guys excuse this my bra straps why do you have two girls for you be like oh this one is so like a home so homely so this so that so wife material and the other one is just a sex material like she's good in bed she does this she gives me the positions i want but this one is more like you know and i'm like why don't you want to have all in one you could have the wife material the homely person but then when you get into the bedroom you know like you want the wild and the you know the wife and the wild all wide sex everything all together like you want it all together you want the you know the perfect homely whatever wife and the sexy wife you want all that in one you don't they're like oh if the girl is too like the way she's is in the bedroom means that she's a bad girl there's nothing like a bad girl if you're having sex with your husband or your whatever so i feel like the guys should stop judging too much like listen this is life and some people have passed and when you you get to with someone you should focus more on the present and on the future the past is gone it's not coming back so don't really so i feel like especially here in ghana like i'm just saying don't judge me i'm just saying especially here in ghana guys do that a lot like they judge you um you know me for example i have a francophone background i can tell you people have told me to my face that wow because you've had it i've heard francophone girls are wild i've i've heard francophone girls are good in bed I'm, i've heard this i've heard that you know and you know like gh girls are just so bored in bed and things i'm like dang they know how you know those gh girls know how to do things like they just be you know good girl for my boyfriend so that he can marry me kind of thing guys stop judging and let's all be open about it when you get in relationship talk about it so that you don't get surprised after you've jumped that you know because divorce is not an option for me actually because <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know like divorce makes me so scared that marriage doesn't even you know you know what i mean like i look at marriage i'm like mm, do I not? <clears throat> you know but yeah that's just about it ah i've said it I've, I've, I've said it i was so like i didn't know how people were gonna feel about these topics but i decided i was gonna talk about it anyways because they need to be talked about we we have to talk about it you know we have to and for my sisters out there stop being shy stop acting like someone else stop being hypocrite be yourself if you want to live life live life because hey if you die tomorrow life goes on if you don't wake up tomorrow we will cry we'll be sad but we'll still move on so yes for those of you who are you know christians and you keeping yourself for you know marriage and it's also a great thing i am a believer i am a christian but you know i'm just not mm. But what I'm, what I'm saying is that be you and remember that God is there and always ask God for, uh, how do you say that? Always ask God for help whenever you need him and always talk to him and always thank him because he's been doing great things. And yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I know, like, I had said it. I had to. <laughs> i just miss you guys so much like thank you so much for sticking out thank you so much for all the new subscribers i see you guys i see you all i see you and yeah i see you next time uh in the next video i will do i'll try to be here as much as i can with school and everything i'll i'll, I'll be around i'll be around so yeah guys thank you for sticking around i know i've gotten a little chubby but don't judge me leave it don't talk about it yeah but yeah guys until next time i love you bye guys